Okay, so the guys at Tardo have released uh, a new product offering, the V3 Plus. There's a new app and all sorts of things going on there, but there's been a lot of discussion on social media, mainly kind of Twitter, Facebook. I've had some DMs and emails uh, from people, perhaps some of them are subscribers, other people just kind of picked up uh, some of my interactions on Twitter. So I thought I would try and share uh, some of my thoughts and my perspective on kind of what the new offering is from Tardo and if I'm still the fan or not. And I think also it's important to note that today is the, the 5th of September 2018 and Tardo have today released a blog post that provides a bit more clarity that seems to have kind of calmed some things down a little bit. So, first thing to just start off with, I'm not paid by Tardo or anything, this isn't a sp sponsored video, this is completely my opinion. Um, I believe um, most of it to be factual, uh, but I will also be very clear, there are some things that I'm not 100% sure on, um, so I will mention that. Obviously the best people to speak to about any of these things is um, Tardo and they will clarify things further, but just showing my thoughts based on of discussions and people have asked me um, to give my thoughts so here it goes so I'm going to reference some stuff um, on the laptop as well I may insert some overlays if I think it's relevant um, I'm not trying to make things worse by any means um, I guess I would start off by saying I'm still a big fan of Tardo um, I have no plans right now to change the products I'm happy with the products I still would like to buy um, more of their products um, if the, the price and the options are right and there's various things that I'm still interested in so keeping that in mind so what happened is um, there's been you know, a fair few industry things happening recently and there has been the event in Berlin and on the 31st of August Tardo announced the fact that they had a, a new Tardo offering the V3 plus smart thermostats um, and this kind of new product line um, is uh, a couple of things so there is definitely a new bridge involved and there is new hardware involved my understanding is, and this is where I'm, I'll be honest, I don't know the specifics, so I'll add comments if I clarify things further, because still speaking to the guys at Tardo to clarify some of my thoughts and, and beliefs, and obviously they've been really busy trying to fight the fire of social media right now. So, I know a few things. Um, there is a new app, uh, but that bit is also confusing, because there's not two apps, there is just, if, if you have um a different if you have the newer bridge if you have the v3 bridge you'll be using a different kind of um you'll have different options in the app basically versus what you had if you're just using v3 um, so i'm currently a v3 customer they um so the new bridge uh is obviously upgraded and obviously the thermostats it's both the wall thermostats and the radiator thermostats. Everything looks the same to the consumer, but there has been uh, new chipsets and more memory added. Now, I don't know if that is across the bridge and the thermostats, or just the bridge, or just the thermostats, or whatever. that bit I'm not too clear on, but I do know that part of this uh, V3 Plus hardware line has got improvements. The main improvements are the fact that it's going to be easier for them to kind of push updates. Obviously the hardware is going to be able to cope better with some of the new features and functionality. But they even recommend themselves, if you are a V3 customer, there's no need or push for you to go out and buy V3 Plus hardware if you want to benefit from the V3 Plus app offerings. So that's. That's very clear. So I think one of the things that a lot of people have been quite frustrated about is, hey, 
all this stuff I have right now needs to go in the bin because you brought out this new stuff and it's not going to be compatible. That is not the case. So we'll probably jump around a little bit in this conversation. So I hope it kind of um, makes sense. One of the other things that I know is that the there has been some comments about the pricing of the uh, radiator thermostats. So i be perfectly honest with you, I have some of those radiator thermostats in my house as I've done review videos of them before. I do think they're good. I do think they work well, but there have been a lot of issues. I've had issues with them and stopped um, buying any more um, because I had quite a few issues where they had to be returned due to manufacturing faults and manufacturing failures. So what I do know now is that Tardo are not having them developed the same way they were. Um, my understanding is that they're now developing them themselves and they're able to obviously do this. They've got a lot more quality control over them and they're much happier now with the build quality and not having the issues they had before. Now, I don't know if this is the case, why the, the cost of those uh, smart radio thermostats have now increased 10 pounds over what they were before. I don't know if that's because obviously the cost of internal manufacturing may not be as economic, even though it is now a better product. Uh, but also if those hardware uh, pieces have been increased as well, so if the firmware and memory all play a part in that, then that might equate to why there is increase in cost. Obviously myself, like everyone, we want to have uh, the cheapest option available. Um, and I'm sure with Brexit and all the different things that are going on, there may also be um, you know, exchange rate issues that have also bumped the price up. I don't know specifically why, I'm just kind of making some assumptions there. But at the same time, as much as I'd like it to be cheaper, we all would, because if it was half the price, I would go out and buy my whole house full much faster. They do have the um, bundles. So what they've done is they've reduced it to where before um, if you were starting into this product line, you'd have to buy the bridge and it would come with two um, thermostats, but apparently not everyone wanted um, two and they often did lots of deals on the kind of starter kits. So now they've reduced that. So the bridge and one, so it reduces the cost of entry and then they're doing the singular, the duo um, and the, the quad options. So if you buy them bigger, I think the duo kind of reduces the, the overall cost uh, by five pounds each and if the, you get the quad it kind of reduces it by 10 pounds each so it kind of brings it back to the costs of the previous years or the previous year um but yeah i mean i'd like to see them cheaper i'm sure everyone would but at the same time this stuff is driven by market influence right so there's not really loads of people that are doing this well in terms of the the radio thermostats as well so if your competition is low then you have the ability to demand the price that you want. And if people want that product, that's what they have to pay for it. So still kind of going off on a tangent. Um, but yeah, so we come back to kind of the new app and the, the thing that people are kind of frustrated about is that now there's going to be this subscription model. We're going to have to pay money um, and all this sort of thing. So the new features are that there is um, this new air comfort skill and what that's able to do with the V3 Plus product line as well as the V3 that you may already have, utilizing uh, additional information that the current sensors in those units can gather, along with additional services that Tardo are procuring on their end. So there's costs to them involved and infrastructure involved in then doing uh, this air comfort analysis to uh, help keep your home healthier, right? So reduce the chances of mold and all this sort of things and saying, hey, you know, there's air pollution outside, so you want to keep your windows closed. You've got humidity issues, so you want to open these windows in your living room for 20 minutes and all this sort of stuff. This is how the idea of this is supposed to work. So if that's something that you want and are interested in, then that is kind of what would be the paid service. If you're a current V3 customer, you don't have to choose any of these things. You can stay with everything that you have right now with V3. If you buy new thermostats and radiator thermostats, you just add them to your current setup with your current V3 bridge. 
and you use them in that same manner. There's no requirement for you to pay any money whatsoever. Um, the new app also has uh, different um, features, um, some that we are already familiar with, uh, like the geofencing, the weather, weather ad adaptation, the open windows stuff, uh, some of the reports and things, but it will now also give you the ability to kind of customize that more. So if you want to have, you know, the master bedroom at the top of the list and the kids bedroom somewhere else, you know, if you've built up this kind of big tidal infrastructure in your house, you have more control over what's happening. And one of the things that um, I kind of question them about is, aside from this air comfort um, feature, if you move to this model, then if you decide that you don't want to pay, then I kind of feel like you might be taking a step back in terms of, like for me personally, I like the fact that um, when we all leave the house, the house knows that and makes a decision to drop the um, thermostats down to a, a preset rating. Now, my understanding is with the new app, so if you're using the new app model, so if you're a new customer or you upgrade uh, um, to the, the paid version, then if you decide you don't want to pay anymore, that's fine. Everything still continues to work. It just works in a slightly different fashion. So instead of having automatic geofencing, it will kind of have a message that pops up on your phone and says, hey, you're the last person to leave. Do you want to set the temperature down to 13 or, or something? So you're not, I guess you are losing some functionality if you're not paying that subscription model, but you, uh, you know, if you're a current customer, you just don't need to upgrade, you're not gonna lose it. If you're a new customer, this is something you never had anyway, right? So this isn't something that, um, you know, you've been promised one thing and other things happened. And I think that's one of the other things that people have been a bit disgruntled about. So if you look back to kind of like last year, Tata had a thing on their website where they said, um, you know, this is our product roadmap and, you know, we're constantly developing new features. Now we're gonna cost you any more money, blah, 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 blah. Now that same page is different. Obviously the roadmap has changed slightly and that specific verbiage about not having to pay anything or you know, whatever is not there anymore. So I think that that's the bit I think that has kind of got people a bit frustrated, which completely makes sense. Um, but at the same time, I think if we're all realistic, business models change, right? And me personally, um, I'd rather Tardo expand its services and, and develop its business model so it continues to be a, a profitable company that exists. Because if they don't do that, and for some reason they went out of business, then we do have this situation where we've all got these nice pieces of plastic in our house that now don't work. So I'd much rather the fact that they push themselves, develop new things, continue their research and have a charging model, if that makes sense, um, that it allows them to, to continue to be. Because <laughs> this is the main thing of all these cloud product offerings that, you know, so I've got canaries, I've got um, rings, I've got other things, all these stuff now is cloud, right? And I, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of that, but I'm a realist and if you want to have some of these capabilities, then that's what happens. Um, and if these people get out of business, then all these things we've invested in just become dumb and dead. So we don't want that to happen. So, yeah. So I think that kind of highlights some of what's, what's happening. So if, if you are a new customer and you decide to buy these V3 products, then um, there, there's a few options that happen is that you are basically subscribing to the auto assist skill. This is kind of what it is that you're kind of buying into and that enables further automation of your house. So some of those things that might be about automatic um, boiler checks or automatic geofencing, those sort of things. And also you can pay two pounds 99 a month for that. Or you can pay 24 pounds 99 annually. If you're a current customer, and you decide to move 
to that model. It, it's discounted by five pounds for the year, so you'd pay 19.99 for the first year, um, and then after that, you would have the option of, you know, 2.99 per month or 24.99 for the year, that, that's an option. But like I say, it is my understanding that if you buy these products, you do not have to subscribe. It is your choice to subscribe if you want some of these more advanced features like the air comfort and auto geofencing and stuff like that. So that's the current situation. Um, everyone, uh, so Tyler have confirmed basically that you know they're gonna continue to maintain the, the old app and the new app. So I think this is the confusing thing, right? So there is only one app in the app store. There's not the old app and the new app. It's just how that app um, functions and how it presents stuff to you. So I think it makes sense that they can continue to maintain both, right? Because it is a singular app. It's just about features and how things are accessed. Um, one of the things, um, that I've asked them about is, so if I use myself as an example, there isn't uh, anything in here in, in the new offering that I personally think, yes, I want that. I, I'm interested in in the the boiler diagnostic thing where the boiler can communicate, the, well, sorry, the thermostat can communicate with the boiler. And if it's definitely one of the more modern digital boilers, it can read kind of fault signals and help diagnose and you can, arrange um, you know boiler technician to come sort of things out I am interested in those sort of things those are things that are going to be available to v3 and v3 v3 plus customers um, but you know I like the fact that I already have the auto geofencing I'm not particularly that fussed about the air comfort things and stuff like that so I'm happy with the current model um, so I'm not planning right now to, to upgrade to this. Uh, and I don't feel any pressure by Tardo to do this. There's no communication that says, hey, if you don't do this, all, the, all your stuff's gonna die and you know, we're really pushing you to do it. So uh, you know, I don't think uh, it's a concern that people should be worried about. I think the whole confusion has been, I think some people, um, claiming dishonesty in terms of obviously the web page was changed and all this sort of thing. I don't know how long ago it was changed or, or not. And to be honest, I don't really care because nothing has really impacted me. If you look at the, the pipeline, let me just check what, what it had on there actually. Um, some of the stuff is, is still the same, right? So some of the classification, classification protection stuff, um, was still on there, I think that's still on there now. Um, some of the multi-home things, if you've got more homes. There's not really anything particularly that I was really hoping for that now has vanished or, or something. Um, so yeah, I'm not particularly frustrated about it. So I still recommend these products to people. Um, I think, you know, if you're a current owner you should continue to be happy. Um, if you are a new customer looking, who's now just suddenly become aware of Tardo, because I'm sure you know, they say that no publicity is bad publicity or whatever it is, so I'm sure lots of people uh, are now more aware of some of the product offering. And you're coming into this product brand new, right? So you're making these informed choices of, this is what I get for free, this is what I get if I am paying subscription. So you can make your choice and move forward. It's not like um, the incident that happened, I think it was last year, if you were a Canary camera owner, where they said you currently have this and now we're taking it away because uh, we think we can make money out of you and then they kind of reversed a bit up on that. So Tyler isn't taking anything away from current customers as far as I'm concerned. One of the things that I did um, speak to about and I haven't had a response back yet um, and I think it's probably not feasible, just being hopeful. Obviously, if someone's interested in technology and interested in reviewing things, there is an element of me that would like to try out um, the new offering. And my understanding of how this works if you're a V3 customer is they will push the V3 Plus firmware to your current bridge um, and then 
it, all your equipment basically will migrate to that new updated firmware at the bridge and obviously once that's happened there's no going back so if you buy the product today you get a v3 plus bridge uh, and obviously you're already on the in quotes new platform so one of the things that i was interested in is again because i'm there's none kind of for me to die for feature what's the option if i wanted to just try this out for a month um, and then go okay it's really cool it was good and interesting i can share some kind of feedback with you guys about what i thought about it but then can i roll back so is there the option that gives existing customers that safety net of the ability to do some exploratory stuff and if they want to pay money for some of these new features they can if they decide they don't want to they can roll back to um what they had before and the reason i say it like that is because as i mentioned to me one of the features i utilize the most out of all of this is the geofencing piece the automatic geofencing so when everyone leaves it does its own thing on the new uh, platform if, you, if you're not a subscriber it still does that but it's not automatic you have to press the button to say yeah we're all gone so for me if i try trialed it and i didn't want to can go for the paid offerings i didn't think it made sense to me as an existing customer i'd like the ability to be able to roll back to how i am or how i was prior to the 31st uh, of august 2018 had i chosen to, to migrate so i think it's unlikely um that that can happen i think the only way uh, in my head, I can kind of think that it makes some sense that you could do it is if I disconnected my V3 bridge, put that somewhere, got a V3 plus bridge, plugged that in, migrated all my products over to that one, tried it out, and then if I decide to move back, plug back in my V3 bridge and see if Tardo were happy to migrate all my products um, back. Now, I'm assuming they probably wouldn't want to do that because that's not something they probably have thought that they would need to do because that's not what their not what their aim is here, right? So yeah, so that's that's my thought process. Um, so just to again, just to summarise again, I think it's good that Tardo continue to push themselves, continue to R and D, continue to develop new things. I think they really are keen to try and help make. Um, people's houses smarter with their heating and cooling systems I think that's really good uh, I think it makes sense that they can offer certain features that require a subscription but to not be completely bound by that subscription I think that's what they're doing I think that's good of course like everyone I would like them um, to see what they can do with the pricing, but I actually think the pricing isn't too bad. So the thermostats themselves, you compare it to some of the other products like the Honeywell and the Nest, it's pretty competitive. The thing I like most about the thermostats is how discreet they look. I love the fact that it just is that discreet, unobtrusive little piece of plastic um, on the wall, but when you press it, it all lights up. I think that's really cool. Uh, I would like um, to have more of the radiator thermostats and I do agree with people that there is a slight you know, barrier to entry. So it's like 70 pounds, whatever it is now, per one of those is a lot. I mean, in my house, I've got, I can't remember how much I've worked it out, but I, I need you, but it's, it's hundreds and hundreds of pounds, right? I think maybe, maybe a thousand pounds maybe to try and do all the rooms in all the areas because someone's got multiple radiators. And that's, that's a lot of money, right? And even though, uh, Tardo has that promise, right? As if it doesn't save you money, you can just send them back and all, all done. Nobody wants to do it. I don't know if, if, if many people actually do the measurements to um, kind of send things back. But yeah, I, I think if, if, it was a, if the price is better, I think there'd be a, a better adoption rate of it. But as I said, again, there aren't many people offering this. So you know, it's a seller's market ready. So I hope this kind of helped. I probably rambled on for far too long and perhaps it was of no benefit um, whatsoever, but 
Um, please leave comments, please ask questions, you know, interact, let's create a community. Um, Tardo, keep doing what you're doing. I think it's good that you kind of made that blog post today to make things a lot clearer to people. Um, I'll put a link um, to that in the description as well in case you, anyone's missed it so that that can become clear. And yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.